We will take no lessons from the Conservatives. After eight years of this Prime Minister, he's not worth the cost. Common sense Conservatives are working to fix the budget, stop crime and build homes. But the Prime Minister not only wants to impose a new 17 cents a litre tax on gas with the support of the NDP and the Bloc, he now wants to impose a decree to close the forestry sector in Quebec. Why does the Prime Minister want to uh, step on Quebec's jurisdiction to kill jobs in the forestry sector? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, since 2013, Quebec has put in place its own uh, process uh, and for uh, putting a price on carbon. The province is not under the federal regime. The Conservative leader continues to show to what extent he doesn't understand Quebecers by promising to demolish a system that Quebec decided to put in place itself over 10 years ago. That's the, it's the Conservative leader who does not respect provincial jurisdiction. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Apparently, there was a, uh, an interpretation error. The, prob the question was about the forestry sector, Mr. Speaker, that the Prime Minister wants to close with a decree which violates Quebec's jurisdiction. Meanwhile, common sense Conservatives want to defend workers in the forestry sector. Meanwhile, in the Journal de Montreal, we read that these people are hungry. People have had to, uh, the police have had to uh, intervene twice in distributing food uh, baskets. So why is the Prime Minister, with his tax and inflationary deficits, continuing to make people hungry? The Honourable Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, the Conservatives are the ones who want to reduce all of the social supports that the federal government now offers to Quebecers. The only thing that the Conservatives understand how to do is cut, cut, cut. They want to cut support for those less fortunate, but we will be there and we will not let the Conservatives uh, cut this necessary aid. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. While common sense Conservatives are fighting to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget and stop the crime, this Prime Minister is promising a cruel April Fool's Day joke, a 23 per cent carbon tax hike on food, gas and groceries. This at a time when the Prime Minister has forced 50 families in at CFB at Gagetown, military families, to go to food banks, 2 million Canadians every month going to those same food banks, 8,000 as part of a Facebook group where they share tips on eating out of dumpsters. Will the Prime Minister gain some compassion and some common sense and spike the hike? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, we will take no lessons from the Conservatives when it comes to supporting the least vulnerable in our country. This is the party that wants to cut the Canada Child Benefit. This is the party that wants to cut support to our seniors. This is the party that wants to cut early learning and child care, which supports so many families. They're opposed to dental care. They're opposed to pharmacare, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Fear and falsehoods to distract from the fact that after eight years of this Prime Minister, he's not worth the cost, and neither is his carbon tax, which will cost the average Ontario family this coming year $1,674. $1,674 for a middle-class family that's lined up at a food bank not able to feed themselves or pay their heating bill. Will the Prime Minister give his head a shake, cancel his cruel April Fool's Day joke and spike the hike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, no one here is surprised to hear the Conservative leader talk about fear and falsehoods because that is what he traffics in every yes. single day. It's his area of personal expertise. He wants to cut, cut, cut the support that Canadians get, and he wants to cut
cut the support Canadian families are getting from the price on pollution. That's 1800 bucks Alberta families won't get. That's 1120 bucks Ontario families won't get. Cut, cut, cut. All they know how to do. Excellent. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. So he, she, she just brags that Alberta families will get $1,800, but according to the Parliamentary Budget Officer, the carbon tax will cost Alberta families $2,943. Amazing. So she ta the Prime Minister takes away $2,943 and gives back $1,800. Madam uh, Mr. Speaker, it's almost like he's a bank robber who thinks that he's virtuous because he tips the teller on the way out the door. Why won't he spike the hike? Yeah, yeah. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, the Conservative leader should know a lot about living off the public purse. That's all he has done his entire life. Now, when it comes to the price on pollution, this is entirely revenue neutral. The government does not keep a penny. It returns more money to eight out of ten Canadian families. That's a good deal for Canadians, Mr. Wow. Speaker.